Welcome to a presentation of Magnusphere, the award-winning switch technology for security door contacts. To begin, I'd like to in history. This car from the 1930s was state-of-the-art at the time, but today drivers are looking for something more modern, something more advanced. They're used to heated seats, rack and pinion steering, airbags, and the like. So you will only find this car now in private collections or in museums. Likewise, this handheld device helped us conquer the beaches of Normandy as a wireless, but today it doesn't provide a data plan, text messaging, or access to the internet. This device is also a product of the 1930s, invented by W.B. Elwood at Bell Labs as a telephone circuit switch. What is it? It's a glass tube with inert gas, so when a magnet is presented, the two reed blades polarize and touch, and this allows the circuit to open and close. It's used in door contacts throughout the alarm industry. Why is it outdated? Well, it's fragile. It's made of glass, so it breaks from door swell, rough handling, temperature extremes, and assembly. It's also vulnerable to voltage spikes, Lightning or a malicious stun gun attack can render it useless, and it fails secure. It's normally closed, so you and your client don't know when this switch is not functioning. And it's easily defeated because it's globally activated, and any external magnet can beat it. Despite its vulnerabilities, there are thousands if not millions installed every day because there's never been a better alternative until now. Magnusphere has developed our switch. It's a magnetic ball in a metal enclosure. You can see the size compared to a dime, and that's a cross-section of what's happening inside the ball. It's designed as a security device, not a telecommunications device. It's made specifically for door. Who is Magnusphere? Well, we're the company that invented new technology to replace the 70-year-old reed switch. It was founded in 2002 by Dr. Randy Woods and Rick Kirschman, and it's privately owned, and all the major shareholders are involved in the daily operations. It's the first significant improvement to security contacts in more than 30 years. We started out back in 2002 when we won the Security Industry Association's Best Intrusion Detection Device and Best of Show in the East. This gives you an example of how the construction is performed. We have an open position magnosphere ball, which I'll point out here, and that magnetic ball is attracted to a ferrous metal ring, so when a magnet is brought in proximity to its narrow activation zone, that ball is pulled away from its attracted metal ring and snaps down to this electrode, and that's what opens and closes this circuit. To give you a perspective on size, here is our MSS 19C. It's a three quarter inch recess contact similar to any of those that you use out in the marketplace, except ours is made with our Magnusphere switch. And you can see the magnetic ball is less than the size of the head of a pencil. Why is Magnusphere products superior? Well, we're robust. They're made of metal alloys, so the construction makes it virtually indestructible, unlike the fragile reed switch made of glass. Ours is resistant to voltage, so if there isn't a, a malicious stun gun or lightning strike in the area, if the ball were to arc and attach itself to the side of the enclosure, because that ball has a north and a south being a magnet, it actually twists and torques right off the side of that can and continues to work, so it's self-healing. And our open loop versions fail safe, so you know when your door contact isn't working. Most importantly, our device is a security device, so it's anti-defeat. It's got a very narrow activation zone, and a defeat magnet won't affect it. This is a demonstration of the Magnusphere anti-defeat security contacts. In our little door, we have two security contacts in installed. Door, On the right, 
is the reed switch contact, which is typically used by most alarm companies all over the world. On the left is the new Magnusphere technology door contact. For demonstration, I will open the door and show you that in a typical situation, when a door is violated and the alarm system is active, the light signifies that the siren is sounded and that a signal is being dispatched to the central station. However, all a bad guy has to do is take a simple compass, run it around the perimeter of a door, and you'll notice that the magnetic north of the magnet contact will tell the bad guy exactly where the contact is located, and then a defeat magnet is placed on the outside of the door, so when the door is then open, the reed switch contact has been defeated and no longer activates the alarm system, whereas the magnusphere anti-defeat contact still activates the alarm system and help is being dispatched. So if you are going to buy an alarm system, would you want a system that includes contacts that can be defeated or magnusphere contacts which are anti-defeat? So Magnusphere's typical door contacts, which we call the MSS line, look and install exactly like any others you've used in the past. And we have our contacts all available with our Magnusphere switch, available in all the shapes and sizes that you're familiar with. But we go one step further. Our MSS 300 series, rather than having a double pull, double throw, we make available in two and three switch options. So you can have a door contact in a one inch configuration with three switches, whether open or closed, depending on your needs, so that you can tie in the intrusion, the door status for the access, and any other output that you desire on one contact. Unheard of in the alarm industry. We also make a wireless contact, which is made with our Magnusphere switch and is compatible with Interlogic DE and two gig. We have the highest signal strength and the longest range. We have the lowest current draw, a 14 year battery, superior performance on steel because of the magnet we use, and it's a narrow low profile housing that's resistant to moisture buildup because we actually set the electronics right side up along with the antenna. And as I said, it's compatible with Honeywell GE We'll move on to high security and high security standards by UL are 634 and they're divided into two levels. 634 contacts are prone to magnetic defeat because they're simple door contacts with a single read switch. And prior BMS contacts, which was supposed to be the improvement upon the basic door contacts, are now relegated to UL 634 level one, but they were never tested to that standard. And UL, knowing that these BMS contacts with read switches were vulnerable, created a new high standard called Level 2. ICD 705 has, it states, it prefers the use of a Level 2 contact. The separation between Level 1 and Level 2 um, is laid out here, and you'll see there are 40 standards that need to be met in order to list a regular door contact. In addition, there are eight more standards that must be achieved to uh, achieve a level one for high security. The next level, level two, are you must comply with eight additional standards. Uh, those have to do with foreign magnetic field tampering and foreign magnetic field com compromise tests and an additional activation testing. The old security standard for UL 634 was the triple balanced magnetic switch in high security applications and the illusion was that when this triple balanced magnetic switch was installed it made it more secure but it's still made with a reed switch and UL found that yes they are vulnerable to tamper and defeat and that a new standard needed to be made and that new standard is now the language that ICD 705 lists from May 8th of 2011 that any door protected by an intrusion detection system consisting of motion sensors and high security door switches uh, that meet UL 634 level 1 or level 2. And you must uh, comply with this when protecting a skiff, but it says 
the level two is preferred. This is a demonstration of a high security contact triple balanced magnetic switch. For this demonstration, I am using a central 2707A, but all manufacturers use a similar design and technology. This high security contact is used in applications such as airports, nuclear power plants, and safes and vaults. Underwriters Laboratory, although they've listed this as a high security contact, have recognized that it is vulnerable to defeat and to tampering. I will show you why. For demonstration purposes, I have two LEDs that will activate and deactivate. One is for the alarm circuit. As I open the door, you'll see that the alarm light is extinguished. And for tamper, so when I remove the contact from its base, it will also extinguish the tamper. This is a two-part component. The top is commonly referred to as the contact. And in this case, it has three reed switches installed that supposedly make this more difficult to defeat. The bottom is the target magnet, which draws those reed switches open and closed. So the idea behind this is you open the door, it sets off the alarm, you close the door, you can arm your system. But for the pry tamper, when you remove it from its bracket, you set off the alarm so that no one with access to this device can tamper with it. However, all it takes is a simple magnet placed on top of the switch, and when you'll see now when I remove it from its base, I have defeated the pry tamper. So anyone with access can tamper with this device to set it up for defeat. In addition, to defeat the contact for an alarm condition, meaning gaining access without authorization, all you need are three magnets. I have here what I call the defeat sleeve, and in this defeat sleeve are three magnets. So anyone with access can place three magnets over this device, open the door, and you will see that I have defeated the alarm circuit. The light is not extinguishing. So by using simple magnets and having access to a device, you can defeat it for tamper as well as for alarm. As you can see, the balanced magnetic switch is easily defeated because it's using 75-year-old REAP switch technology. When you have a UL634 level 1 need, or you're looking at possibly replacing those units out in the field, Magnusphere makes RHSL1.5 in two models. One is the two closed loop version with the pry tamper, and the other is a one open and one closed loop version with the pry tamper. These are not only more secure than the BMSs made with reed switches out there, but they are also easier to install because you're not uh, installing it with that bracket. And uh, as I show you in the next video, this is a comparison. This video is a comparison between the Central 2707A and the Magnusphere L1.5 high security contacts. The central unit is made with 70-year-old reed switch technology, whereas the Magnusphere contact is made with Magnusphere switch technology. I've connected each of these contacts to LEDs on the left to show when the, both the tamper and the alarm circuits clear. First, the central unit. When you're mounting the contact, you must first mount a two-screw tamper bracket, which includes the pry magnet. Once you have that device mounted, you must then use four screws to mount the contact for a total of six screws. The magnet itself also requires four screws. However, oftentimes you will need two technicians, whereas if the magnet is too far away or too close, the alarm zone won't clear. So you'll need a technician on a meter to determine the sweet spot of this balanced magnetic switch. The magnetosphere contact requires two screw mounting because our onboard integrated tamper circuit allows you to first mount the device with two screws, drop in the cylinder magnet pulling the magnosphere switch for the tamper closed, followed by the cap so that if you need to 
have someone pry this away, they must first get to the second screw, which will activate the tamper. Next, you have a two-screw magnet, which allows this magnosphere contact to be mounted with only four screws versus the central, which requires ten screws. Using Magnusphere's switch technology allows the device to be mounted from zero tolerance all the way out to its UL standard. So, for ease of use, for better technology, for a higher level of security, the Magnusphere L1.5 outperforms the central every time. As you can see, in a level one setting, all those BMS contacts out there are vulnerable to defeat and they could be replaced with the new HS L1.5 from Magnusphere. In addition, we also have a bracket that prevents you or uh, protects you against having to drill new holes in a door frame so you can use the existing holes from the old device to mount the new Magnusphere device. When your project calls for a level two installation, we have surface mount products. One is with the single contact, the L2S, level two single, and the next is the L2D, the level two dual. And the dual has two contacts, closed loop, and a normally, uh, both closed loop, and the normally open mag and pry tamper. Those uh, are available with built-in resistors. We have a number of configurations based on your panel need, and they have a very similar footprint to the central and the other out, uh, devices out there, the BMSs. One thing I will note is that we allow uh, vertical or horizontal mount. We cross drill this contact, so you will not only have an easier installation, but you'll eliminate the need for the brackets that many devices need. The level two is also available in a concealed product. This is the only one of its kind out on the marketplace, and it removes a and it includes a removal tamper, so it complies with that UL level 2 listing, and it comes in both a recess and an ANSI cutout. So if you have a door that can be prepped in advance, a metal door, you can use that ANSI cutout, have a level 2 door contact, and not have any cabling showing whatsoever. And they come with a pry tamper and two closed loops. This device was actually named in 2012 a top 30 security technology pick by SSI Mag. A number of organizations have moved to our level two sensors. Uh, virtually all military branches and uh, agencies within the federal government have recognized that we have a more secure contact. And if you're going to these high security facilities, why not use a more secure switch? For you, why would you want to move to Magnusphere? Well, it's a better switch, it's more secure, but it's the same cost. And the benefits for your clients, it's defeat resistant, you're providing a high lo higher level of security. And in our open loop version, it fails safe, reducing vulnerability for doors not functioning. It's a better switch at the same cost, and the HSS, both the level one and level two, are easier to install, and they look identical. And the benefits to you as the integrator, is you can increase sales, by leading with a device that is so basic and shows that you provide a higher level of security. And for all those BMSs out there, you have upgrade opportunities, not only to level one, but also to the level two. And I will add that the difference between level one and level two can be summed up in a, in a simple uh, explanation. Level twos are designed so even if a threat has insider access to that door contact, they still will not be able to defeat it because of the uh, eight additional standards that UL has set for a level two listing. With a level one, if you have access to it, eventually there's a chance you may be able to defeat it. However, with the Magnusphere switch, we are much less likely to be defeated because of our switch technology. You're providing a better solution versus the other integrator that you apart from your competition. Thank you. Uh, we are uh, happy to answer any questions. There is our contact information, uh, our website, www.magnusphere.com. We are available at the major distribution companies, 
ABI, Triad, Annexter, and Alarm Products Distributing. We're also available through Amazon, and uh, we welcome any inquiries as to our products, installations, and how we can move you to them. So thank you for your time, and let me know if you have any questions.